Hello everyone! 16 days past evolution and let's test. It's a cute test, cheapy one. I'm not gonna use expensive tests because I'm pretty sure that it's negative. I'm two days late. I don't really like it. Yeah. Um, if you're trying to conceive for long, you probably know that if you have no positive ones at 10, 11, 12 DPO, probably it means that you are not pregnant and at this point you want your period to come the very next day. And when it takes longer than you want it to take, let's say I'm 16 days past evolution, still no period, no bleeding, nothing. And it's, it's confusing because you know that you're not pregnant, you know that it's time to start a new cycle in order to start trying, but whatever you're doing, it just doesn't work. I mean that. I'm not able to expedite the process. I'm able to track the process. But whatever I'm doing, like wishing and tracking, it like doesn't really work. Your, your body knows what to do with things, how to do with things, what time to do with things. And yep. Um, I'm still super bloated. I'm bloated, yes. My appetite is on the lower side. It's pretty normal, nothing, like no cravings, nothing. I don't feel nauseous this cycle. Usually before my period, let's say beginning um, 7, 8 DPO, I start feeling a little bit nauseous throughout the day, but not now. I'm completely fine. I'm just okay. Yes. No frequent urination, no other signs, nope, just normal. I still have mucus and I know that soon it's gonna turn into blood because I do have mucus more than usual. It's kind of yeah, when you wipe, not every single time, but when you wipe, let's say every other time, it's a little bit kind of mucusy or so, like something. And yeah. So what else? Today I'm gonna be ordering more brass for myself. I realized that size 2XL works better. So right now I'm wearing 3, no this is 3XL, yes, and it's a little bit bigger than I need. Size 2XL is perfect, it's not small, it's, I would say that a 3XL is like my size. But when I go outside the house, I want my boobs to be kind of a little bit up and flatter so size 2xl works better in this way it's a little bit teeny tiny bit smaller than my original size but this smallness kind of if i'm clear helps my boobs to to be up and kind of make them a little bit flatter with size 3 exhale they're a little bit kind of wobbly <laughs> and yeah I'm gonna order a size 2 exhale and probably it's gonna be not even two brass I'm gonna order different ones size 2 exhale because as I mentioned size 3 will work for the house and size 2 XL will work for the outings like going like even like grocery shopping because with big boobs you are like you must wearing a bra every single minute otherwise like it's not gonna work if you have big boobs you probably understand 
Yeah, let me pick up the test. It's been around five minutes and check. I'm pretty sure it's negative, but just in case, just in case, let's do this. It's negative. It's very negative. It's cheapy one, but it's very, very, very negative. Yep. That's it. That's it for this month. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop testing right now because I don't know how long it's gonna take to start bleeding. I don't wanna waste my tests and my nerves because I know that this cycle is not my cycle. We didn't get pregnant this cycle. I'm not pregnant for sure. We're gonna try next cycle, which is gonna be cycle number five. And I just have to stop. I have to stop because there is no reason to test if it's negative after a negative. Plus, I don't feel any pregnancy related symptoms, which is like just showing that I'm not pregnant, yep, I'm not, and I don't feel nothing, I'm completely, like, okay, um, like, when you're pregnant, especially in the beginning, you feel a lot of cramps in your uterus, so this time around, no cramps, nothing, I'm not pregnant, 100%, so next cycle is gonna be cycle number five, and I'm thinking what we could do different, what we should do different, and probably nothing, because I do my best with lower count, um, lower sperm count, they do not recommend you to have baby dance, to baby dance often, so we're not gonna do this many times, but we're gonna do this probably maybe two times, two or three times. We haven't decided yet, we're gonna think about it, but right now I need to start my period and finish it and start all over again, everything all over again, and wish me guys luck and I just wanted to be over this situation with CDC because I'm tired, I'm tired. Yes, it's okay to fail sometimes, it's okay. And it doesn't make you not a good person, <laughs> you know. You're still you. It's just something that is in between. And if you're struggling, just bear with me, just watch me and you are not the only one. And I wish you luck and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!